Let's go ahead and get started in uh, child's pose. And today's practice is a, a special practice and a special sequence we call the sleep well sequence. So hopefully the things that we do in here this, uh, this evening just promote a nice, good, deep sleep this evening. So we'll start off here and then in a little bit we'll move through some nice, sweet, gentle standing poses as a way to <clears throat> just kind of loosen the body up warm the body up a little bit, just real gently and lightly. And then we'll move into some of our, our deep floor stretches. So as you come into this opening child's pose, just allow yourself to really Start to find that state of surrender and that state of release, that state of letting go. As if you're just taking a little retreat or a little vacation from the busyness of life. And within this practice, you allow yourself to really replenish, recharge, and renew on the deepest of levels. course knowing that the more that you give to yourself then the more that you'll be able to give and share and offer to others allow the weight of your skull to be completely supported by the ground and any unnecessary noise thoughts chitter chatter just spilling right through the front of the skull into the ground below you. As if you were just emptying out the contents of the mind, cultivating that inner quiet, that inner calm and serenity. Allow that tranquility to just wash through your nervous system. And really feel your mind just in that state of ease. The opposite of dis-ease. Start to notice that movement of air coming in and out through your nose. And without being aggressive or really overly efforting, just see if you can start to invite the inhales to become a little bit deeper. And then invite the exhales to become a little bit longer. So that breath just starts to deepen and the inhales become an opportunity to replenish to draw in and those exhales become an opportunity to just release, to let go, to let go of any resistance, to let go of any unnecessary stress and then eventually when we move into the deeper stretches to let go of physical tension as well allowing our bodies to open and to expand and to become nourished with the breath, with the blood 
and within this very powerful medicine of yin. From here, if your arms are behind you, go ahead and reach your arms forward. And then simply crawl your hands over towards the right side of your yoga mat. Lift your left hand up, place it right on top of your right hand. Just coming into a, a little side stretch. Child's pose. So you feel the stretch across the left side of the torso. And then you breathe into your left ribs, breathe into your left lung. And then nice and easily Go ahead and crawl yourself over towards the opposite side of the mat. This time lifting the right hand up and setting it right on top of that left hand. Feeling that stretch through the whole entire right side of the torso, just gently drawing your outer right hip back. And feeling that expansion across the right waist, the right ribs, the right lat. Just gently letting those tissues open up. Good, from here, go ahead and crawl the hands right down the center. Give your forehead a little gentle rock, side to side, just massaging right into the front of your skull. From here, go ahead and come up to tabletop pose, all fours position. Shoulders right above the wrists and the knees right beneath the hips. Release the tops of the feet. Spread the fingers wide. And then cat and cow on the inhale, draw the heart forward. Drop your belly. And then slow as you can on the exhale. Go ahead and round the back, chest and chin in. Inhale, bring it forward. Allow the collarbones to spread apart. And then exhale, round it in. And then just try those just on your own, just continuing to move, continuing to flow, continuing to open up the spine and open up all the tissues that run along that spinal column. Feeling the breath and the movement and the mind sinking and linking up. Last couple cycles of these. Good, you guys. Come back to a neutral spine. Slide your hands forward a couple of inches. Tuck the toes underneath the feet. And then downward dog, lift the hips all the way up into the air. And then spread your feet wide so your feet are wider than your yoga mat. So onto the hardwood floor. And then bring your feet forward a couple of inches. So it's a wide dog, but it's also a shorter dog than what you would normally do and then that should just make it feel way more way more gentle at the same time allow those palms to gently dig into the mat 
Little activation through the arms, the upper body, the shoulders, the hips, the tailbone drawing up, creating a tractioning effect through your torso, through your spine. And as the hips are drawing up, the heels gently pressing down. So you get that stretch across your hamstrings, the backs of the knees, the calves, and really all the way down through the Achilles heels. Just let that head dangle free. Allow your neck, allow your trap muscles to be soft. Relax all the muscles in the face, especially that jaw where we have a tendency to carry tension, to grip, to clench. And that wave of breath, just continuing to roll in and out through the nose. All right, you guys, from here, go ahead and crawl your hands all the way towards the back of the mat. Bring your feet in back onto the yoga mat, but keep the feet still a little bit wider than the hips. Turn the toes out, and then we'll come into a yoga squat. So you can sit down between the feet. And if this feels intense for you, you can always roll up the back of your mat and slide that underneath the heel. Sometimes that helps within the ankles or you can even sit on a block. So just know that you have some other options here. And just bring the palms together and find that symmetry between the right and the left palm. And as you gently press the palms together, allow the knees to broaden out. So you create a stretch through the groin, through the inner thighs. And then if it feels right, close the eyes that doesn't feel right, you can, at the very least, soften the gaze. Just a nice, relaxed gaze, what we sometimes call the Buddha gaze. See the pictures of the Buddha, those eyes just super chill. So the mind and the brain get a chance to become quiet and chill as well. Continue to hold within this yoga squat, what we call malasana, just allowing ankles, knees, the hips, the inner thighs to all just start to stretch and release. Good, from here, slowly open up the eyes. Relax the hands down to the ground. And then go ahead and straighten the legs. So fold over and down. Turn the toes in, feet parallel to each other. Feet about the width of the hips. Reach down, grab your big toes, first two fingers. And then flat back. Inhale, draw your heart out. And then fold on the exhale. So you start bending the elbows. And you draw the crown, the top of the head, down towards the floor. And again, the intention within this practice tonight is like at the end of a long day, the end of a, a busy day, a lot of activity, maybe stress or challenges, to really have this time before we officially wind things down, go to sleep to just let that stuff go that's no longer serving us. You know, so that we don't bring that stress with us into our sleep. It's as if you're just clearing the slate, the physical slate, the mental slate, the emotional slate. And then the body can naturally just slip into a really deep state of rest. From here, release the big toes. Bring the hands behind the low back. Interlace the fingers. 
draw the arms towards straight as you get into the upper back the shoulders the traps the neck just continuing to let the weight of that skull dangle down and this should feel good see if you can peel your right chest open towards the right side of the studio and just enjoy that stretch where your inner chest and your inner shoulder joins together like you're getting right to the middle of that juncture that intersection and just letting some of that chi some of that prana to penetrate in there beautiful second side peel that left chest back and then come to neutral come to middle take a good by inhale there both hands down to the ground walk the hands forward top of the mat into more of a a traditional or standard downward facing dog this time though let's walk the dog so just alternate one heel down towards the ground at a time pedaling out through those feet and just switching side to side several times Good. take another inhale just gently press your hips back and then go ahead and walk the feet forward all the way to the top to the front of your yoga mat spread the feet out about the width of the hips bring the hands all the way up to the shins right beneath the knees and actually let's try this bring the fingertips to the outer calf so instead of on the shins just on the outer legs right at the top of the outer calf there and then feel your heart drawing forward so you create that, that decompression from your tailbone through the top of the head. You're creating space between every vertebra of the spine. The neck stays long, so you're gazing straight down as opposed to looking forward or out. Take another inhale, reach the heart out a little more. And then forward fold, exhale, just melt all the way down. Let's do a few more like that. Inhale, flat back, lengthen out. And then fold on the exhale. Good, inhale, reach the heart out. Let the breath lead the way. And then fold with gravity. Two more. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale to just melt into that stretch beautiful one more time inhale try and get a little bit more length there and then fold on the exhale put a little bend into the knees feel the hamstrings soften bring the hands all the way up to your waist and then grounding through your feet leading through your heart on an inhale rise and fly both arms up to the sky interlace the fingers turn the palms inside out Press down to the feet. Inhale, lift and reach. And then on the exhale, turn your torso to the right. And then go ahead and lean back and look up. So you twist, but you also come into a little backward bend. And just listen to what it is that your body's speaking to you through that language of sensation. And using that information as your gauge to guide to maneuver to navigate your way right into your sweet spot on an inhale we'll face back forward to the front and then second side twist to the left as you exhale lean back look up just releasing some tension in that low back little pressure, a little stimulation into the kidneys as well. And 
And inhale, come back, facing forward. And then both hands to prayer, right in front of the heart. Anjali Mudra, the gesture of offering. Have sun salutations on an inhale. Offer the arms up to the sky. And check this out. As you fold down on the exhale, bring the thumbs to the center of the forehead, then to the heart, and then release the hands down. Flat back. Inhale like you did before. Lengthen that heart out. And then fold on the exhale. Melt down. Back up to standing. On the inhale, sweep the arms up. And then both hands back to prayer. We'll do that together one more time and then you can flow on your own. Inhale, circle the arms up. Press down to the feet. As you fold, center the forehead, then to the heart. Release the hands down so it becomes devotional. Flat back, inhale, spine out. Forward fold, exhale, dissolve. On and inhale, rise and fly, both arms up. And then both hands back to center. On your own, try that a few more rounds. And see how much you can get out of your head so it's not about thinking. We do enough thinking within our day. And especially as we come towards the end of our day to get out of that thinking, to let that mind chill out, bliss out. And just come back into that intuitive space, that feeling space. Awesome, you guys. Next time you end up in a forward fold, feel free to just hold there. Those of you that are still in the middle of the flow, just take your time. We'll all meet eventually in that forward fold. Once you get there, you can grab opposite elbows with your hands. Just putting a box around that head, relaxing the joints of the upper body, your shoulders your elbows, your wrists, your knuckles. Just continuing to release, to let go and to allow that gentle yin medicine to flow. Maybe a little sway, perhaps a little bounce up and down the knees. Good, you guys. Release the hands down to the ground. Heel toe your feet together side by side. And then from here, just lunge your left foot to the back of your yoga mat so you're in a runner's lunge. You're on your left toes, both hands onto the ground. And then sometimes we do this in our power flows. Did it last week on the inhale. Shift the weight forward so heart draws out. And then on the exhale, rock the hips back as you draw your front leg towards straight. Inhale, bend the front knee. And then exhale, draw the leg towards straight. If it doesn't get totally straight, all good. Do what you can do. Try that one a few more times on your own. And anytime we move with the breath and we really consciously place that breath in a special, mindful way, that then becomes what we call a vinyasa. And so technically there's thousands and thousands and thousands of these little vinyasas that the yogis have created.
Next time that front leg gets towards straight, just hold there. Spin your back foot flat. Turn your right foot in parallel to the left. So you're in a standing wide leg forward fold. Both hands on the ground, the width of the shoulders. Come up onto the fingertips. Take an inhale, draw the heart out. And then on the exhale, palms flat, elbows bend, let the weight of that head go. And just take several breaths there, just allowing the inner legs, the adductors. Get a nice stretch, allow the backs of the legs to stretch. And allow that spine to get another stretch. Beautiful, on your next inhale, come up onto your fingertips, draw your spine out, both hands to the waist on the exhale, ground through your feet, on the inhale, rise to standing, and then spread the arms out wide like a T. Turn your right toes forward towards the front of the studio, line your feet up heel to heel, keep your front right leg straight, and then flip your right palm to the sky. And then take that left hand, bring it onto that back outer left leg as you allow that right arm to come sweeping all the way back into what we call reverse triangle. So it's almost like reverse warrior except the front leg straight. And then you get that lateral flexion within the spine. So another great side bending stretch. One more inhale there, and exhale, come all the way back up to center, pause. On an inhale, reach out through that front right arm, and then right hand down, left arm straight up to the sky, triangle pose. Take that outer right hip, wrap it underneath and in, and then let's take that left hand, reach it towards the back of the space. Rotate the left palm up to the sky. Take an inhale there. And then on the exhale, take that left arm slowly extend it out, reaching into extended triangle. And then reverse that. So inhale, float the left hand towards the back wall, left palm up. And then on the exhale, reach it all the way out. And then try a couple more of those on your own. So another one of these vinyasas. Good. Now left arm straight up to the sky. Press down through your low body. On the inhale, stand all the way up. And on the exhale, turn the right foot in parallel to the left. Take an inhale, lean back, maybe even look up, spreading those arms wide. And then on the exhale, just floating down to the ground with that wind of the breath. Turn the front right toes forward, spin onto the back left toes, back to runner's lunge. Take an inhale, runner's lunge. And then step your left foot forward, top of the mat on the exhale to join the right. Flat back. Inhale, pull out those spinal kinks. And then forward fold, exhale, release. Arms to the sky, inhale, rise and sweep them up. Both hands to prayer. Anjali, spread the feet out about the width of the shoulders, release the arms, the hands down. Now coming into a circular rag doll. So you lean into that right foot, you can put a little bend in the knees and then start to slide down the right side of the body, just really relaxing your muscles, your bones and your joints. Once you get down towards the ground, then you start to shift over towards your left foot, left leg. 
and then slowly roll all the way up the left side of the body. Once you get all the way back up, just allow your shoulders, your head to relax back and then just continue there in that clockwise flow. As much as you can, see if you can be free within your body parts and let your body parts organically and effortlessly just move in any natural way that they do. So there's no manipulation at all. As you're ready, you'll reverse that the other direction, the other way. Next time you get down to that forward fold, just hold there, grab the elbows again. And let's do this. Try taking a nice big inhale through your nose and then out the mouth, let it go. One more time, inhale, fill the lungs up with breath. And then just sigh it out, exhale. Awesome, you guys. Release the hands down to the mat. Heel toe the feet together side by side. And then step the right foot to the back of the mat, runner's lunge. Take a moment there to get set. On and inhale, shift the weight forward, drawing your heart out towards the front. On the exhale, rocking the hips back. You can always do this with blocks underneath the hands if that feels better on your own. Just continue there to find that flow. Next time that front leg straightens, let's hold there. Spin that back foot flat on the ground. Turn the left foot in parallel to the right. Crawl back between the feet. Hands on the ground, width of the shoulders come up onto the fingertips. This time we'll come into a little hybrid of a pranayama within the vinyasa. So see if you can breathe and move with me. So you stay in the flat back, inhale for one. Two, three, four, fold down for four, three, two, one. Flat back, inhale, one, two, three, four, fold down for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two more cycles. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last cycle. Inhale, one, two, three, 
four, exhale eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold in the fold, take a big inhale through the nose and out the mouth, let it go. Nice, you guys. Flat back, inhale, draw your sternum up and out. Hands to the waist on the exhale. On your inhale, stand all the way up. Spread those arms out wide like a T. Turn the left toes forward. Line the feet up heel to heel. Reverse triangle. Right hand out of right leg. Left arm all the way up and back. You can look up to your inner left arm. You can look off to the side. Or you could even look back by that back right hand. So wherever it feels most comfortable within your neck. Enjoy one last inhale there to deepen that stretch. And back up to center on the exhale. On the inhale, reach out to that front hand. And then triangle pose, left hand down. Right arm to the sky, stacking the arms, the shoulders, right on top of each other. Find stability through the low body. Take that top right hand, reach it towards the back of the space. Right palm flips to the sky, taking an inhale there. On the exhale, take that right arm and reach it all the way out, extended triangle. And on your own, just continue to come into that, that little flow there. And right arm to the sky. Press down to that low body. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, turn that left foot in parallel to the right. On the inhale, lean back, look up. And then on that exhale, just sail all the way down. Hands to the outer legs or feet so you get a wide grip. Once you establish that grip, take an inhale, pull the heart up and out. And then fold on the exhale, using those hands as leverage to pull yourself into the position. Good, go ahead and release the feet. Crawl the torso forward towards your front left foot. Spin the left toes forward, come onto the back right toes. Runner's lunge. From here, step your left foot to the back of the mat plank. Upper push up position. You can always drop your knees if you wanna modify. Either way, just take an inhale there. And then go ahead and lower slow all the way down onto your belly, onto the mat. Release the tops of the feet, and then Sphinx Pose. Go ahead and slide your forearms forward, elbows right underneath the shoulders, forearms parallel to each other. And we'll start coming into more of the traditional or official yin Holds, so longer holds now. Starting off with a little yin backward bend. You can take the skin of the forearms, gently draw that back. And you can feel your heart slipping forward through the shoulders. 
the chest elevating up. Tops of the feet gently release into the mat as your toes stretch back. And this is a great counter pose to a lot of the rounding of the spine that we naturally do. Anytime we're hunching over, looking at our cell phones, sending text messages, driving our car, working maybe at our computer. This helps to release the effects of that within our spine. Again, if it feels right, feel free to close the eyes or soften the gaze. Feel free to stay in Sphinx or option to come into seal. So seal, you would open the hands a little bit. You can turn the fingertips slightly out and then you draw all the arms towards straight and you lift your chest up like a seal. If that feels like it's too much and for some people it does, feel free to keep the forearms down to the ground. And just continue to attune yourself to what it is that your body needs. We always have to kind of discern the difference between the voice of the ego, which always wants more. In the Tibetan Buddhist tradition, they call it the hungry ghost, the ghost that can never get enough, just constantly needs more, 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 never enough. That's often the way that the ego functions, always wanting to carry us into places where we don't necessarily belong and we have that voice of wisdom and that's the voice that we are honing into and the quieter our mind becomes within our practice then the more that we can hear that the more that we can listen to that And seal, release the elbows, forearms slowly back down to the ground. All joining back in Sphinx for the last few breaths there. And one more inhale in Sphinx. And then lower your chest down. Bring your hands right on top of each other 
and then turn your head over towards the right. Just relax in the left side of your face, right on top of your hands, almost like you create a pillow. And continuing to really, really, really explore that world of the parasympathetic nervous system and the relaxation response. It helps us to decrease those stress hormones and chemicals and to produce those feel-good hormones and chemicals that are so imperative within our optimal state of health and wealth. A lot of people in modern day living, they're so wound up, they're in that constant state of fight or flight. And the more that we can move away from that, the more that we can trigger that relaxation response, the more that we can allow that inherent wisdom and that natural ability for the body to find balance and homeostasis to really be in that environment to fulfill that. From here, go ahead and rotate your chin towards the opposite shoulder. Stretching the other side of the neck. And even in a super comfortable pose like this, notice if there's anywhere at all within the body where you're gripping, where you're still holding on. Some of these places we've been gripping for so long, we're not even aware of it until we take a really good, close, microscopic look. Almost like you got to just slowly scan through the whole entire terrain of the body. Taking a good, close, thorough look. And as you find those places, then just releasing and letting go. From here, you guys, bring your hands back by your ribs. Press up to tabletop pose, all fours position. From table, crawl your knees forward about halfway up your yoga mat. Cross the feet behind you, release down onto your sit bones, and then rotate your body towards the left side of the studio. And then we'll start off, just spread the legs out for a moment. Open the legs out wide. And then we'll keep that back left leg straight, but bend your right knee and bring your right foot in towards your inner left thigh. Turn your torso so your chest now faces your left leg and your hands framing that left leg for a moment. So notice your sternum lined up with your left knee and your left toes there. On an inhale, we'll reach the arms all the way up to the sky. And then on the exhale, just go ahead and fold over and down. Just to your own degree. And there's nowhere where you have to get to. There's nowhere where you have to go. It's like the opposite of achieving is just simply being. The opposite of striving is to just be in a state of just arriving, like I'm there, I'm here. 
There's nothing that I need to perfect. And to feel that vibration of Santosh of contentment, wherever it is that you are. Guys, you guys, now from here, take your left arm to the inside of your left leg. Take your right arm, reach it to the sky. Another option is you can bend your left elbow and place it on top of your left eye and rest your, your head into your hand, so that's an option, or you just keep that left arm reaching out. On the inhale, roll the right chest open, and then extend your right arm all the way out coming into an even deeper side stretch. Some of us are open enough to where we can naturally grab that back foot with the right hand. And if that's you, see if you can grab the outside of that left foot, and then your left hand could reach down and grab the inside of the left foot. Sometimes if we're tight here, you definitely have that left elbow on the thigh, and then you could bend that top right elbow and you can bring the right hand just around to the back of the head and the neck, and that makes it a little less intense. So there's a lot of little variations within this one that you can explore and find what works for you. And then see how much you can really relax all the muscles on the right side of the torso. Now from here, go ahead and come all the way back up. Take your right hand, bring it onto the floor behind you. Lean into that right hand. Take the left arm, reach it up, and see if you can lift the hips up. It's almost like a, a flip dog where we turn the dog upside down. Just lifting up to that belly. Press down through your left toes and feel that stretch to the top of that left foot. Take another inhale, lift up, and then exhale, lower all the way back down. Good, now take that right leg, extend it out towards the right, bring your left foot in towards your inner right thigh, turn your torso towards your right leg, lining sternum up, right knee, right toes, outer left hip rolls down, inhale, reach up to the arms, and then exhale, go ahead and fold over and down. And 
And it's pretty common that one side is going to feel maybe tighter or perhaps looser than the other side. Periodically, time to time within a practice like this, you know, naturally we encounter these moments sometimes of resistance. And it doesn't even have to necessarily be a physical resistance, but sometimes it can be a, a mental resistance where maybe we don't want to be with the things that are coming up within any given moment. And so there's that resistance to not be there, not to be with it. And in those moments, to allow the exhales of your breath to be an opportunity to just continue to release, to let go, to yield to where we're at. And one of the great gifts that we get within our yoga practice, whether it's yin yoga or even a power or strong yoga class, is this ability to find comfort within discomfort to maintain poise and composure even in moments of struggle and intensity which of course is a huge game changer because those moments often happen within our lives as well it's the nature of being human so one of the best ways of transcending suffering is to be able to achieve that. From here, right arm inside of the right leg or modify right elbow on top of right thigh, left arm to the sky. So lower body stays the same. Upper body now comes into more of a side bend stretch. So can take that left arm and reach it out. You can bend the left elbow, so left hand to the back of the head and the neck, whatever feels right. And you might even find something that is another variation of what's been offered, and that's cool too. Trust that impulse, trust that intuition the instruction that comes from within. Awesome, you guys. Go ahead and come back up. 
Bring your left hand onto the floor behind you. Lean back into that left hand. And then go ahead and lift your hips up as you take that right arm. And then reach it all the way up and back. Elevating hips, lifting up through the navel as you gently root down through that left hand, left arm. Last inhale, reach. And then exhale, float all the way down. Awesome. Now open the left leg back out. So back to seated straddle. And now we'll come into the seated straddle stretch. In the in tradition, they call it dragonfly. Arms to the sky. Inhale, reach them high. And then fold over and down to your own degree. Hands can stay in front of you. Hands can reach out, grab the feet. Sometimes it's nice to put a block or a blanket or a bolster underneath the hips. Sometimes it's nice. Sometimes it's nice to put a block underneath the forehead. And just know that time is on your side. And that that element of time will take care of everything. No hurries, no worries. Slowing everything down, the body, the breath, and especially the brain and the mind. Continue to stay in the pose, maintaining the shape. Notice if the mind drifts away at any point, and if so, just bring it back. Bring it back to your practice, bring it back to the experience that's happening right here, right now. For 90 minutes, I step away from the past, I step away from the future. And I just explore the subtleties and the nuances of just being present, being in the now.
last few breaths there. Nice, you guys. Go ahead and exit all the way back up to seated. Bring the legs back together as you're ready. Turn the legs forward towards the front when you're ready. And then come down onto your back as you're ready. Once you recline onto the back, grab the shin, squeeze the knees into the belly. Then open your knees out, bring them back in. So just in a circular kind of a way, open and close. And just feel that kind of circular movement within your hips. And then slide the hands down the legs, grab the outer edges of the feet into a happy baby. So soles of the feet up to the sky, knees a little bit wider than the ribs. Feel your thighs gently drawing downward. Feel that touch deep into the hips. Good, from here we're gonna keep the right leg as is, but extend your left leg forward along the floor. Grab your right foot, both of your hands now. So what we call a half happy baby. And then start leaning over towards your right as you keep pulling your right thigh down. And see if you can come so far over to the right that your right knee eventually hits onto the floor. So there's a little moment there, at least for myself, where you kind of free fall over. And then once that knee makes contact, you can just hold right there. Nice, and then come back up to neutral. Bring your left knee in back to happy baby. Take a few breaths in happy baby this time. Feel free to gently rock side to side. Massaging into the muscles of the back and especially those muscles that support the spine. Nice, keeping the le left leg as is. Go ahead and extend the right leg out in front of you. Grab that left foot, both hands. Pulling the left eye down, start leaning to the left. Just coming into that half happy baby other side.
Nice. Go ahead and come back up to neutral. Happy baby. One more time. Bring the right leg back in. Take a last few breaths. Maybe rocking it again a little bit. And then we'll bring the knees back together, back to the chest. Keep the knees in. And then either extend the arms straight out into a T position or cactus arms bending the elbows. And then let the knees fall over to the right. So a double knee, reclining twist. Both knees back up to middle. And second side as you're ready. Let those knees go all the way across over to the left. Both knees all the way back up to neutral. Grab the shins. Squeeze the knees and thighs back in. And then take a big inhale. Curl the forehead up to the knees. Give your body one last big hug of gratitude. And then exhale. Shavasana. Corpse pose. Releasing. Relaxing all the way down onto your back, letting the legs, the arms open out wide. Any adjustments that you want to do to set yourself up for just comfort. And after having moved through the gentle standing poses, and then the deep stretch floor poses. Now see if you can really make that final departure. You take that plunge. To that deep inner world of stillness. of self, of source. Shavasana.
your body from here real easily, real gradually. Just feel yourself slip it back into the space, back onto your mat, and back into your body. Just in that super sweet state. of deep, deep release. Start to gradually move the fingertips and the toes around just to re reactivate that physical sensation and presence. Of course, as you integrate back in, just bring in with you that, that deep, deep inner calm From here, take the arms all the way up over your head, interlace the fingers. Turn the palms inside out, stretching back through the arms, stretching out through your feet and your toes. And then reach forward, grab your shins, squeeze your knees back into your belly. And then roll over onto your left side and just take several moments there. Just curl up into a little ball. Nice and easily go ahead and press yourself all the way up into a last final cross-legged seated position where we'll Finish this yin yoga sleep well practice. Once you get up to seated, both hands all the way up to prayer one more time. Back to the thumbs, middle of the heart. Just sit up tall, eyes closed. And then just take these last several moments to really just kind of sit in the after effects or the echo, the reverberation of your practice. From here, back to the thumbs up to the center of the forehead for clarity of mind. Hands down to the mouth for thoughtfulness of speech. And then hands back to prayer position in front of the heart for consistency of action, allowing your yoga to shine through all that you think all that you say and all that you do. Much health, much wealth, much love to you. Have a beautiful rest of your evening. Hope you sleep well tonight. Namaste.